Time now for our T-Mobile coverage cam. Earlier today, Taiwan Walker here in the, ball, in the ballpark, full uniform, Jackie Robinson hat on through live batting practice. Hit 93 on the gun, which is good for him because he doesn't usually hit that number when he's throwing bullpen sessions. Now, this was, again, live batting practice. Stubbs hit, Rojas hit, but what, it's good. Yeah, that's what I like when they all get together and they go over, you know, how Taiwan felt, but what the hitters felt facing it. Yeah, so two innings today. He's not ready to come back just yet, but I will say that Caleb Cotham and Rob Thompson were very optimistic. And considering with Ranger going on the injured list, and the hope is that's just one time through, uh, they'd love to get Taiwan back to where he needs to be. 0 2 is a high bouncer left side, scooped up and then bobbled by Ramirez. And Turner will be safe. I, I think he would have had a hard time throwing him out. I do too. And we saw Ramirez make that play yesterday a couple times on that high bouncing short hop, but this one here just couldn't come up with it. And he knows he has to rush because of Trey speed. A little high lie. Doesn't count, Tom, to catch it off the bounce. It's not. Well, if you're in your backyard, maybe, but yep, not here. Yep, yep. It is a hit. And now Harper with the leadoff batter aboard. Hedges is a good thrower behind the plate. This is the RAV fourth inning brought to you by Toyota. Visit Toyota.com to find your 2024 RAV 4 Toyota today. Toyota, let's go, Phils. Nice little pass at that. Might have been just a tad late, but that is a pretty good swing right there. Balance, Bryce. We're over to first. Turner's able to get up to second base on a wild pitch. It's only the seventh wild pitch while Hedges is catching. Yeah, that's a tough one for Hedges. Ball just got buried. That sinker got buried down in by Carrasco. You see Trey with a little secondary lead. Easy. Easy little trot to second. That time he was able to smother it. It's three and two. I would think he's going to be careful with this pitch here to Harper. You would think. Three and two, runner at second. Fly ball, left field. Juan going back to the wall. It is gone! The 100th Citizens Bank Park home run for Bryce Harper. It goes the opposite way, and the Phillies take a 2-0 lead. All different personalities, his home runs. The way that game went last night, you knew he was going to come out and do something special today. Number 100 at this ballpark. What a what a great number that is! And thank goodness for the Phils to get up, finally get a lead on these guys. Oh, and Bohm fouls the first pitch off. It's 0-1. 
the home run is his 24th this year, 66th and 67th RBI. And he now has 330 career home runs. Breaking ball down and away. Got some excitement in the old old place, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It needed it. It badly. That last night was a snooze fest. But not today. You're a fine player, Mr. Harper. Get outside. And ball four. Bohm draws a walk. JT Robuto coming up. And uh, Taryn, JT's got a new guy to catch at the end of the ball game. He does. The Phillies have acquired right handed pitcher Carlos Estevez from the Los Angeles Angels in exchange for minor league pitchers Sam Aldegari and George Klassen. I love Corey Seidman had an interesting note that he tweeted a moment ago. Carlos Estevez hasn't allowed a run since the week of Memorial Day. 18 straight scoreless appearances. He's retired 53 of the last 58 batters he's faced. So the Phillies, they were looking for an arm there, and it seems like they went out to Los Angeles and got themselves one, guys. Yeah, 20 of 23 and save opportunities. There's Dave Dombrowski. You got a sense that there was another deal that was going to be pending, particularly with Sir Anthony Dominguez being traded to the Orioles. So that'll help the bullpen, no doubt. JT takes a strike, it's 0 1. And Al DeGarry really has evolved this year. He's a few years away, of course. Clawson really has evolved, too. He's found his command, and he's a good pitcher, too. But you got to give up good prospects to get good pitching back. Inside, 1 1. So the Phillies have made now two deals. Austin Hayes being one, and now Estevez the other. Bounce foul, one and two. Ball over to third. Ramirez gobbles it up, goes to second for one. That's all they'll get. Your local Philly insiders always have you covered on the NBC Sports Philadelphia app. Download now so you're always game day ready. And as Terrence said, Corey Seidman. One of the insiders will have a lot of more information about this trade as the night goes on. Corey is here. He's got a new summer cut. Oh, he does? Yep. Yep. Nothing like yours, though. No. Nope. There's Corey. That is pretty tight. Yeah. Corey got a summer cut while he was gone. Mike Mulligan, our director, got his summer cut. Everybody's getting it. Carl Graber has not gotten his summer cut. Our statistician. Nope. I don't even think Carl got his winter cut. Marsh fouls it off. But he wouldn't look like the unit if he did. Man for all seasons. That's right. A win two to Marsh. Pretty close. I believe Hedges and Carrasco wanted that pitch. They probably could have gotten it. Hey, Marsh has been getting a lot of off-speed pitches and 
then try to finish him with the with the fastball. That one's hooked deep to right field. It's not coming back. It is gone off the auxiliary scoreboard. Brandon Marsh ends at 0 for 25. A two run home run for nothing Phils. I would say he got that one. All right, Nate, no one needed it more than him. What a beautiful swing. Rosco tried to get that ball down and away, and it just didn't. It was down. It just wasn't away. And it went away. Sure did. 402 feet for Brandon. Veteran pitching coach Carl Willis out to talk to Carrasco. A little nitro zone. Yeah, it did. It, it was supposed to have been running away, but you see Hedges trying to reach. He tried to reach out and get that thing before Marsh could swing. <laughs> get away, Brandon. So now Castellanos with one out, four runs are in here in the home fourth. Line to left field, coming over his Quan. He won't get it. He'll play it on a hop. Well, the second time through the order, things working out pretty well for the Phillies. So far, so good, Tom. Nick got that off the end of the bat. I think it fooled Quan a little bit. I think Quan thought that ball was hit harder. Of course, after Bryce and Marsh swings, he probably thinks maybe we should retreat first before coming in. Ball drops in front of him and another runner. Stop takes a strike. Stock grounded out his first time up. 0 for 1. Harper's two run home run went to left. Marsh's two run home run went to right. And for at least this RAV4 fitting, things are uh, always right in the Phillies' world. Paul Muller always likes uh, when stuff positive happens in the RAV4 fitting. Nick Sandlin is warming up for the Guardians. Two. Yeah, Paul's a big fan of that uh, grab fourth inning. Oh, yeah. And apparently, so are the Phillies. Keep it going, Bryson. Topper over the mound. Waiting for it is Schneeman. He wasn't sure. It's going to be an infield hit. I think he thought Carrasco was going to field that. Yeah, that's one you can't assume, Mo, especially with no. stock speed. Schneeman just, uh, just watch the hesitation on Schneeman. Right there, he hesitates. And once he hesitated, we saw Bryson almost beat a ball out in his first at bat. And that one there, he, was, he sniffed out that hit. He got the hottest hitter in Philadelphia coming up. Batting a thousand, Tom. Yeah, he is. Fielding a thousand, batting a thousand. Pickoff play is on at second. Castellanos is back. Ooh. I don't know what 
they're thinking. I don't know. I looked at that arm jamming into that bag. Yeah. Too. We don't get picked off. Yet today. That was going to say. <laughs> Well, one and one. Butters at first and second. One man down, one ball, one strike to Hayes. One and two. Two strikes. Hey, you wonder if this is Carrasco's last hitter. Uh, I know Powell popped up to third on a great play by Ramirez and struck out, but third time through. Can't see it. Off the hands over to third. Ramirez to second for one. Can they turn two? No. Well, he took a chance thinking he could turn to. I thought he might just go to third. Hey, good turn. But Hayes got out of the box really well and he just beats that throw. And yeah, there we go. And here comes Steven Vogt. Yeah, Hayes can run a little bit. Like that. All right, he's already signaled to the pen, so the Guardians will go to the bullpen here in the fourth inning. It is our Nissan call to the pen. Buckle up for an epic test drive at the Nissan Thrill of the Summer sales events. Let's take a look at our Han Kook driving moment. Jim Tomey. Hats off. That's right. 400th career home run. It came here at Citizens Bank Park on a rainy night in June. 2004. Amazing. Jim, of course, played for the Phillies in Cleveland. White Sox. White Sox. Orioles. Hall of Famer. Dodgers. Hall of Fame human. Yes, sir. Indians gave him a chance, thanks to Charlie Manuel. And it turned out to be great for everybody. One ball, one strike to Schwarber. As Nick Sandlin is the new pitcher. With runners on first and third and two outs here in the fourth. Castellanos gets a good size lead off third. The low two and one. Pretty high velocity. 
Cassidy over there to first. And a different style, too. Go over top. Got on top of that one, Tom. <laughs> like to see Kyle get on top of one. Two and two. That one's fouled on the left field line. Jim Tomey's home runs by team. It's some big ones for the Phillies, but he hit a lot of big ones for Cleveland. 337, 134 for the White Sox. Thought maybe it would be uh, a little less than that. Minnesota 37. I forgot about Minnesota. Yeah. And Baltimore three. Eighth all time in home runs. Noel hit Hayes and stopped it. That's two disengagements, isn't it? That sure is. Yeah, I'd think I'd take off if I was him. There he goes. He heck of a jump. Pitch inside, no throw. So Hayes has his first stolen base of the year. It just took a trip to Philadelphia to get it. Yeah, those running fills. Yeah, Hayes with a, I mean, good jump, but Hedges wasn't throwing no matter what. But still up the stat sheet. I think Nick's going to go down there and shake Hedges' hand. <laughs> and Jose Ramirez is basically playing short. And Nick's just going, and now he's talking to him. Now they're having some fun. The mayor's walking over toward him. Nick's bouncing off the base. And a high oh, fly man. ball to straightaway center field. It is long gone. A three run bomb from Kyle Schwarber. The Phillies have hit three homers in the inning. And they now lead it 7 nothing. Tell you what, you, you know, the home runs are great. You know, Bryce and Marsh and now Kyle right there with the long one, but you know, this inning would have ended a lot sooner without the hustle of Bryson Stott beating out the infield single mm -hmm. and Hayes. Austin Hayes beating out the double play ball. Gives your team another at bat. And they've been rewarded. Phillies have batted around here in the fourth inning. 20 home runs now for Schwarber. 60 runs batted in. Not bad for a leadoff hitter. No, it's not. His last home run came on the 11th of July. And Turner strikes out. 10 to the plate in the inning. 